What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Paint Society, the channel where the learning doesn't stop when the video ends. We have this beautiful spoon inspired Honda Civic Type R right behind us with a lot of spoon accessories, pretty much every single one you can get out of the catalog and we're adding in this episode the front bumper. Now you can see we've already finished with the rear bumper right here, but the front bumper is a very special job because it's gonna to be two-toned and it's very dynamic the way that it's gonna be taped off. So the front bumper right here has already been fitted. It's been sanded and primed with a white primer. So we're gonna go ahead and take it from here and make it look just like this. So let's go ahead and let's get it off the car and let's get started. Ha ha. So we got the bumper back here in the paint shop and we're ready to lay down our first coat of base. So what I suggest to do everything in one color, we seal it down with clear coat. That way if we have any overspray from our black, we can go ahead and just scuff it off and we're good to go. And we're gonna have a smoother edge in the end. Now the only thing we need to mask off is this carbon fiber portion. Now you can see what they've done is they've taken the carbon fiber and they've gone about uh, about a quarter of an inch over what they need because we're going to bring the masking along this edge okay gonna use some adhesion promoter so my fine line will stick now i'm going to show you on this corner how i lay down my fine line i'm using a quarter inch Poly Precision Tape by 3M. Now Fine Line has a bad reputation for wanting to pull up. So I go over it with some tape just to hold it down. And this also bridges the gap between the tape we already have down and any little spaces of carbon fiber that we don't want to get painted. Here's that fine line on the center portion of the lip. You can see how precise it needs to be. We got our paper on. So now we're gonna wanna curl it up so overspray doesn't get through and onto the lip. We'll put some tape on the back. All right, so we're ready to spray our base coat down. It's all been clean, it's ready to go. Let's put down a coat of base. So you want to pull it off just like this, okay? Very slowly. This is going to reduce the risk of a bridge. It's going to leave a cleaner line. So far, so good. First one looks pretty good. And there we have it, a beautiful line. Really happy with the way this looks. 
Now I'm gonna take some reducer on a brand new prep towel and I'm gonna wipe this carbon fiber because I know I'm gonna get something off of it, some sort of white, okay? I guarantee you, you might not be able to see it on the rag, but there's always some sort of overspray. Now the reason why I can do it on the carbon fiber and not on the base coat is because it, this carbon fiber is sealed with clear coat already. So it has a barrier, okay, against solvents. It's not gonna go into the layer underneath. Let's go ahead and let's clear it. All right, so there we have it. I put on one nice coat of clear, and this is gonna act as a sealant, right? So when I go to sand for my black two-tone, all right, I know I have the barrier that's protecting my, uh, my carbon fiber and my base coat, and that's very, very valuable. Nice, clean line. I'll go ahead, let this dry, and get it sanded, and get ready for that black. So after all that sanding, we have the bumper back in the booth. Now the number one key before we start masking is clean, clean, clean. This whole entire bumper has been scuffed up, it's been degreased once more, clean with wax and grease remover, water-based cleaner, and now it is ready for the fine line tape. If we hadn't taken all these steps, the tape would not stick just the best it could, and we wouldn't have adhesion for our new paint. The next thing you wanna do is make sure these guys are really, really clean, okay? Any dirt that's from your hands can transfer onto the bumper, especially a white bumper and oils and all that. Again, the tape is just not gonna stick. So now these are the original OEM parts that fit onto the spoon bumper cover. And we're gonna be using these to make sure that our line is consistent all along. What I'm gonna do is extend the black up to this little bevel right here and bring it along the whole top of the bumper. This way I have a nice, clean, consistent area for my tape line.
So after three coats of black, this is what it will look like. Now, as soon as you spray that third coat, let it flash for a few minutes, and we're gonna take off the tape. You know, you gotta be mad patient when you do this stuff. This isn't really any skill, to be honest, it's just patience. I really don't feel like there's any skill to this. After we pulled off all that tape, she's good to go. Let's go ahead, let's make this thing shiny. We're not gonna overload it with the clear because we're gonna still sand it down and flow coat it to bury these lines. So we're just gonna get a nice coat of clear on here for now. So the bumper's been drying for a couple days now. Now we're gonna do the flow coat where we're gonna sand it all down and just give it clear. And that's gonna help smooth out all these edges and just give it that much of a slicker, brilliant, beautiful look. So let's sand it down for the last time. Alright guys, so we can see this is a job well done and a job that you can do with a little bit of patience. I mentioned to you guys before, it doesn't really have anything to do with skill, it's just patience. I've went back a few times and even redid some of these lines just to make them perfect. But in the end, the car looks fantastic and we're really proud of the way it looks. But until the next one guys, this is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it, it's just paint.